What's up everybody? Chad from Wisco Boater Channel. Um, I've got a what I think will probably be a minor fix on the tugboat. Uh, if you recall from the launch day video, I had a pretty good vibration. Thought the propeller was out of balance at first. Uh, come to find out after we launched it and everybody looked at the propeller, the propeller shaft was actually bent um, from the armature aft. So rather than trying to straighten that shaft out, I just went ahead and ordered a new armature from Encoda. So that's what this video will be about, installing the new armature. And, um, and we'll take the tugboat back out and hopefully smooth everything out. So here I'll show you what the run out actually looked like uh, with the propeller off. All right, let's turn the battery on. And start the motor. You can see, plain as day, it is really, it's really quite bent. And I'm pretty sure this happened in shipping. I didn't notice it. Um, so what was happening with the propeller running, it's completely out of balance. The shaft then is vibrating back and forth. The water line, is up you know in this area which when you look inside I don't know if I can get a good angle is probably right in here um, on this tube so the water didn't have but about four or five inches to travel upwards to splash out of the top of this so <clears throat> that's where that was coming from I mean there's just a, a tiny little bit of space uh, in that tube for the uh, for the shaft of the trolling motor to, to turn back and forth. Uh, it is greased, but there's still going to be air pockets uh, and water passages for that for the water to go up. With the vibration, that the uh, tube just vibrating back and forth, it's shooting water upwards because it can't go down. Um, obviously, there's already water down there, so the only place for it to go is up. So. In order to fix that, that armature's gotta come out, which is what I'm gonna do today. And then when the uh, new armature gets here, I'll hopefully just put it all back together. I do have the exploded view here from the uh, Minn Kota installation manual, instruction manual. So it's it looks to be fairly simple. These two bolts right here, they're very long bolts come out. The housing should slide off and then the armature should come out. All right, so there's some background uh, talking going on. That's a PGA radio. Shouldn't have any issue with copyrights on that. Easier than I thought it was going to be. Probably should stick these back in just for now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So there's the the uh, armature. So we got a bearing back here that seats inside the. When the brushes are out of the way, they slide down. Like that. It's either on the springs, so the brushes slide down and up, the bearing goes inside. So the challenge is going to be keeping the brushes separated while I slide the new armature in once I get it replaced out of the casing here. All right, I just pulled the armature out of the housing. Now I got to figure out how to get this plate off of a bent shaft. So you can see it moves that far, but doesn't want to go any farther. So I think I'm going to start by taking this bearing out. Actually, ah, there we go, just wiggling it. That worked. So what I'm going to do with this, I'll probably take this over to a uh, a repair shop and just see if they can straighten this out for me 
Um, you can see the bend. And then this will just be a spare armature because prop shafts get bent from time to time. So we'll get this one fixed. And use it as a spare in the future. So yeah, that's it for now. And as soon as the uh, new armature shows up, I'll get to installing that. Should be here in a couple days. All right, so I got the new armature. Looks exactly the same as the other one, except obviously it doesn't have a bent prop shaft. I mean, this is brand new, so all these, these O-rings uh, that were in here um, are still good. I'm not gonna pull that out. And the O-ring that's on that is still good. And I'm going to put the armature into the case first, just to right there. Actually, is is in there magnetically. This is a magnet. Actually, you know what I think I'll do? I can pull that back out. I think I'll put this in first. That way, I can spread the. Um, See if I can get a better view on this. Spread the uh, brushes. Okay. Get the brushes spread. There. Right like so. And then. And this will go over. And this is kind of kind of it's gonna to want to suck right in there. Just like that. And then this goes on. Okay, so I just used the socket to hand tighten those bolts. nice and easy. Let me go grab the propeller. The propeller has a key and just a washer and a nylock. So the key goes right in here. Actually, uh-huh, got a slight bend in the key. You see that? So before I put this on, got the pin straightened out. Just use a pair of vice grips and another set of pliers. So the pin is in. There we go. Washer. Nut. This doesn't need to be super tight. It's a lock nut or nylock, I should say. So that uh, should be good. It looks like we have a nicely balanced propeller now. Turn the battery on. Turn the uh, motor on and see how it looks. Hey. 
That looks nice and straight to me. The uh, washer doesn't perfectly center. But let's crank it up and see what happens. whatsoever. Propellers on there perfectly straight, but I'm wondering if that washer is just enough of a weight to cause the sound of a vibration. Center it up. Let's see how it sounds now. Take this thing out to the lake and give it another test all right it's uh launch day number two we'll go see what the uh, trolling motor acts like today it's up here floating there it is let's go have some fun all right this is now running 100 percent power and there is no vibration whatsoever just a nice quiet electric motor so the armature was the was the fix, and now it's time to uh, just come out here and relax for a little bit. A little bit of a jet ski wake coming by here. It's not too bad, I'm sitting right in the middle of the boat here. I don't really feel much rocking. Here we go though. This is what this boat's for. Time for a beer. All right, well, it's not really the best view, but. Cheers. Good day to be on the water. I got a problem I gotta fix now. Not, I don't think it's a big deal, but the base for the trolling motor has already come loose. So, so you want to move that. Red block should not be moving. Um, not, a, not a huge deal, but I'm going to figure out how to brace and fix that. But yeah, that should, that should be stationary. So the, the water that's in the boat is not getting any worse. And because that block came loose, I'm actually wondering if that water is from last time. If, because of the way the boat was sitting in my garage, if the water kind of just collected up near the front and it broke that, that block loose and now it's sitting under these mats. 
So I think what I'm gonna do next time, maybe, is, well, I'll take the mats out when I get home and dry it out completely. Might put the mats back in because it's comfortable, maybe not. But I'm kind of thinking that's that might be might be what it's from because it's, it's not getting any worse. It's just kind of sitting there, and yeah, there's no water in the back whatsoever. It's all up front. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm uh, cruising around at about 30% power now. I have no idea how fast I'm going. Maybe two miles an hour, three miles an hour. But that's all this thing is for. Enjoying the beautiful day. Check in the back, absolutely no water anywhere back here. We're at 50% power, no vibration, no water splashing. All good. Now, this is a pretty cool feature for this boat. The uh, ability to sit facing backwards and still be able to steer it. I think I can hold onto the camera and do it. So I've got full control of the tiller. Easy to see where you're going. It's so slow that uh, steering is super easy going forward or sitting forward or sitting backwards. So <laughs> this thing just gets more and more fun all the time. All right, so I just realized something kind of funny. The, uh, I put the battery meter in right there, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Here's the funny part. My trolling motor has a battery meter right on it. <laughs> I had, I didn't even know, I didn't know this. It says test, test with motor off. I've never even looked at this. It's so stupid that I didn't know this. Push this button. Look, three quarters battery left, <laughs> which is exactly what that says right now <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder about myself <laughs> oh well two battery monitors is better than one sorry for the change in venue uh, for the ending of this video the ramp was extremely busy when uh, when I went to take Neptune out of the water and uh, I just didn't even think to pick up my phone to uh, record anything. So back home in the garage and everything went just fine. Um, I've got it kind of tilted back just a little bit because I'm going to try to get the water that's up front here out um, before I take it up to uh, Dora County next weekend. And that water is right up in here. It's underneath that mat. I made a mess with uh, white paint because my seats kept scraping the sides. So I'm gonna figure that out. Um, probably put a piece of cloth or leather or something, um, figure out a way to attach that there. Um, but there's water down inside there. You probably can't see it. And there's a little bit of water underneath the mat. Now this was not new water. Everything back here is completely dry. Um, I am 100% sure that the water that's in the in the boat right now was from launch day when uh, the water was coming up from the um, the top of that tube. And when I pull it home, you know, hit the brakes, water rushes forward and ends up under the mat. So I have no worries about this boat leaking at all. Um, like I said, I'm I'm confident, 100% confident that that water is from launch day.
uh, because the water level never changed uh, when, I, when I was out on it this afternoon. So the boat did great. I ran it for, I don't know, hour and 20 minutes uh, at 50% power and the battery stayed rock solid at three quarters the whole time. So I think this thing will probably run all day at uh, 35 to 50% in a two to four miles an hour, something like that. 100% is not really necessary. Yeah, I, I, there's not really much of a difference um, between four miles an hour and five miles an hour. Um, so if I can get three to four at 50%, that's what I'm gonna use and get much longer battery life out of that. So uh, really, really happy with the way uh, the boat performed today. And next week, I'll be taking it up to Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin for the 4th of July and hopefully have some fun up there with this and the other boat so until next time thanks for watching everybody hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you like this video and send me some comments if you want to we'll see you next time happy boating everybody